Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to hopefully solve a problem that you have had in the past. I know that it is a problem I have experienced, and this is what it is. So I have created a Google Classroom class that people are already enrolled in, and now I need them to navigate to the classwork page, and I need them to go to an assignment. So maybe we've got an assignment like this that has got a document where students will get a copy and maybe some resources that they're going to need to complete this assignment. So this is my goal. I want to click assign and I want people to be able to get to this assignment. And here's the problem I've run into. So it's an after school session, maybe it's 45 minutes and, you know, people are dying to get out of there. They want to do this as fast as possible, but here's what I have to do. I have to say, go to Google Classroom, log in with your Google account. That's going to take them to th this page, the classes page. Then I have to say, go into the class and I have to tell them the name of the class because they probably see lots of different ones, including the ones that they teach. Now I'm going to have to take them to the classwork page and now I'm going to have to direct them to the assignment that I actually want them to do, which of course, I mean, I know I can move this up, I can make topics, I can put it at the top, but what I'd like to do is just say click the link in your email or type in this short URL and complete this assignment and now it is possible to do that. So if this is a problem you've had, you want to know how to do it, stay tuned, I'm about to show you. So I've created my assignment and now I am ready to get a link to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots and I'm going to copy the link. And then we're going to go over and look and see what this experience would be for someone who is a student in this class. Now this account is a student in the classroom that I just showed you. So I'm going to paste in that URL that I just copied from classroom when I was looking at it as a teacher and let's see what happens. Hooray, here we are, one click straight to the assignment. So here's another suggestion. If you want to create a short URL that you can put up on a screen, for example, for people to type in that will take them directly to an assignment, here's how you do it. So we copied that link, it's still on the clipboard. We're gonna go ahead and paste it up here into our Omnibox and hit enter. And now we know we're looking at the correct link, the link that's going to take us to the assignment page for the students um, because we just tested it in our other browser where we are a student. So here we go. Here is the assignment page. And yes, it does look different when I'm looking at it from my teacher account. Here it is from my student account. I have the turn in and all that, but this URL is the same and it's going to adapt based on whose login it is. So now what we can do is we can use our bit.ly extension to shorten this URL. So I'm going to call this fake-assignment and I'll save it. And now if I wanted to, I could copy that. I could put it onto a slide I, or I could use something like crafty text and I could put it up onto my screen um, when my participants come into the room and they would be able to type in that short URL and go directly to their assignment page. Let's just test it and make sure it works. So we called it we called it fake-assignment. So let's go ahead and test it out and our student account will type that short URL in that we made from that special link and here is our assignment page as a student. So with one click or one URL typed in, we don't have to waste time going through all those steps to try to get somebody to their assignment in Google Classroom. Um, that was a huge aha moment for me. Thanks Jackie from SciFair ISD for asking a great question that led us down the trail of figuring this out. Um, super cool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you end up using this or if this is something that you needed, let us know in the comments under this YouTube video. We'd love to hear from you. Bye. Have a great day.